What is up guys? It is Zane here and today we're going to be looking at some insane book art. So let's just go. Alright guys, so for our first book, this is what started my entire, I think it was changed my life, honestly, okay, it's called Everyone Poops by Taro Gomi, I don't know anything about the author, but all I know is that this book is really good, so basically, long story short, it just goes through every, everything in the animal kingdom, and it just makes you realize that everyone fucking poops. Is that it just like grounds everyone to earth like it is a sad reality but we're all fucking disgusting at the end of the day so this is why i love this book and this is like literally the first book i remember ever reading and i thought this was inappropriate as fuck but at the same time i really did love it so yeah and it's actually pretty short too so this is the ending hopefully you enjoyed that fucking book <laughs> Guys, this was driving me insane, okay? I didn't want to make this change in art piece because I was genuinely really just scared. Okay, I didn't have the pen active. I was genuinely scared on what would happen when I did it. And it actually doesn't look too bad, so fuck living in fear, just do whatever that. Alright, this next book is a comic actually, and I really love this book for a couple of reasons. First off, this cover is fucking beautiful, like, super sick neutron flame art. Like, this is kind of what I really love. I don't even think I've ever opened this, or maybe I did very gently once, but... Let's, we gotta see what's inside, you know? Comic books have the best art. So we got, like, an ad for a freaking movie, and then the comic begins. And I didn't even realize the texture on this paper is different than normal, like... It feels fucking old as fuck as it is. When was this made? It was made in June for 60 cents to purchase. It says 1982 on the first page, so I'm assuming that's around the time. We got ads for bubble gum, bubble yum. I don't like reading, so we just appreciate art and shit. Double dynamite, so there's like coupons, you can get fucking discount deals for your comics, which is sick as fuck. We got like a normal dude story, normal family, fucking cube lube, hold up. People really were so into Rubik's Cubes they wanted to fucking oil that shit. I just really appreciate these comics. I like actually when paper is not pure white. And I didn't think or realize that natural degradation actually will change it a different color. I don't know if Michelangelo's paintings or old sketches look like that for aging purposes or if it's a specific paper but either way i like aged art but it's not ideal if there's only one copy of it but yeah really sick art i want to know who the author is because they probably made a lot of other comics as well and on the back we have like this western ad which actually leads us into my next book. So this book might actually even be controversial nowadays but it's called freaking The Indian in the Cupboard. So I really loved this book growing up just because of the freaking art and everything about it. I'm freaking Mexican so I can judge it however I want but the extra reason why I love this book is because something fucking really trippy happened with this. Basically, I don't know, I had this dream one day about this beetle. And then I literally woke up in the middle of the night and it was like in my bed. I'm not even joking. I don't know if it was a hallucination. <laughs> or if I'm like just fucking tripping, but I remember it vividly. And then, yeah, I think this might just be like an older version of the cover art, but there was even movie of this, and I even enjoyed that, but yeah. There's no pictures inside the books, which is definitely disappointing. Wait, just kidding. There's some iconography. There's a couple of illustrations in it. It's actually- oh, fuck. It's actually nice, but fucking abusive, like... <laughs> I don't remember the entire story to be quite honest with you, but I just love the main characters and the freaking toys coming to life basically. That shit is so sick to me. 
and it is from my childhood, so it's like extra nostalgia. And there's something about old art that just hits differently. Like the people back then just everyone is just their own unique illustrator and that's why I fucking love art, honestly. I'm just addicted. Wow, than that. Alright, next series. This book is very special to me as well. It's called 3D Spotlight. And yes, I do have a pair of 3D freaking goggles since I printed out the other of a neck holder. Does it work? Oh shit. But yeah, this is basically when you're too broke to afford ice spot. Oh, fuck. You get the budget. And it actually came through, even though it is a little cheesy, it's still super fucking cool. To me at least. I'm not gonna hold everything down right now, but the art is fucking sick, like, it's 2010s, people were, you know, kinda wacky back then. I'm sharing this insane 3D experience, and I only got one eye, but it still looks pretty interesting. I can't tell if every page has 3D aspects to it, but it doesn't even have to, to still be cool. I don't think that 3D is gimmicky, I actually do like it, but yeah, there's some pretty profound art pieces that stay in my memory from this book. It is weird to see 3D in like book form, because it's like kind of, you can see like it's kind of mosh trippy, and usually that's just, I only see it in movies, like I've never really seen it in a person still frame like that but yeah these pictures books give me a lot of inspiration because there's just a lot of hidden details that you need to look for and when you're hunting down for specific things sometimes you gotta look at areas that you wouldn't normally look at when you discover like cool art so yeah i really love it these books are a little stiff but I'm trying to be gentle and not fucking break them down. But yeah, I feel like I could even make something like this book. Because it's just like, pretty simple art. Like look at this, it's like Photoshop faces and shit. Like, pretty amateur. I mean, there is a ton of pages, so I would say the quantity might have caused, might have caused the quality to go down. Uh, do I care? Fuck no, because it's still good on every page. There's actually a shit ton. Oh, we even got some fireworks and like some TV trip. This is like actually an exploration of a lot of different styles here. Like patchwork, I would say is the main one with all- Oh, we have some stickers. Good thing I took care of my shit. Because we still got some stuff. Wait, these are literally the freaking original glasses. These are from Spy Kids 3D, so that's why they're fucking sick. So yeah, interesting book. Definitely happy. The good thing about me doing this over an AI is that I get to control the exact beauty in every fucking mark. So that is perfect. No. Alright, so this final book is freaking crazy. It's called The Time Chart History of the World. So the cover looks like a bunch of stuff. I can barely even decipher it. I'm fucking faded right now. If you're wondering how I got this, it's actually very fucking special for me. I was literally just at like my sister's high school and we had a fucking raffling event for some reason. What the hell? Right Wait, this thing is way... Oh my goodness, I can't even open this one. This thing is literally a chart of the fucking Earth's history right now. Look at this guy. Ark of Titus. This is the Roman Empire in 753 BC. We have Jesus right here. Holy crap. Egyptian hogs. Can you see this right now? Babylonia, we got the pyramids right here, Noah's Ark, so it seems to even be biblically based, which is pretty cool. A lot of history is based on that, I guess. We got the Persian Empire right here, some cool deity art. I like 
literally every time period that exists is fucking amazing to me. We have the Pisa Tower, witches right here, and some cool knight armor. I love castles and all this stuff, like fucking literally everything is cool except the fucking evil. We even have fucking presidents, like what was current date? I remember Obama was reigning during that time. Life is honestly pretty good, no matter what is happening. It seems like it's US produced, but it's not entirely like fucking bullshitted, it seems like. I mean, maybe a little bit. I haven't read any of it. We can just see a little bit of the picture. We even got the seven wonders of the world right here. We have the Babylon Temple, fact or fiction. But look at this, this could be a video on itself. Seven fucking wonders of the world. We're not gonna get into it, but this is the art depictions of it. And all of it is absolutely fucking breathtaking. And I wish we could see it in real life. Yeah. Really awesome book. And I would love, basically when you flip it on his back, you can like view the other version of it. So very fucking unique. I've never seen a book like this. I definitely appreciate it. This is like the final back of it, and it has like the fucking earth in flat form, and then this cool... I can't even understand what all this is, but if you fucking look into it, you'd probably learn a lot. Alright, so this is a bonus art piece, guys. Basically, I've been going freaking insane lately because there's this one comic book cover that I vividly freaking remember but I have no idea how to find it and it's been driving me crazy. I don't know if I own it, I didn't look hard enough but I fucking know but there's some interesting features about it that make me want to revisit it. The main reason is because the fucking girl on it was hot. Like, I can't even... I don't even want to draw it fucking in detail. I already fucking ruined it completely. But the face, I remember, like, the top was, like... The eyes were shut off. Like, it was a fucking mask up there. But you could see the fucking lips. So it was fucking hot. Oh my, I'm so bad at this. But, and then the other key detail was like her fucking feet were like literally like in the main frame like it was super close to the camera and the toes were all like spread out and shit I think it was Star Wars I remember it was like Galact or something it was gold there was gold on the fucking it was black and gold armor or maybe a little bit of white I remember there was some guards of some sort, like in the background. It could have been a church <laughs> freaking comic book. Because there was a store at this place called Shepherd. Some of the Christian comics were like sci-fi themed. I wish I could draw hot girls, guys. I'm literally trying to learn, but all the tips I have watched on YouTube went to shit clearly with this. And this pen is like 20 years old. I'm pretty sure this book cover came out in like the 2010s or 2014s, maybe. I think this is as good as it's gonna fucking get because I really don't like drawing with pen, but yeah. Alright, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Comment any cool books you know about that have like crazy art, or any comics, any literature that is rare or just like from your childhood or something, let me know. Because I'm really interested in like any kinds of art and yes, I'm flexing this, but anyways, chase your dreams no matter what, goodbye.